How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today's topic, you know me, I, it's always that time of the uh, week I have to highlight uh, black-owned businesses and things of that nature. So um, I'm going to be talking about this great young lady, Pandwee Gibson, and she's making money moves in a great big way from a different perspective. And, you know, I love the fact that she's um, took a picture next to the King uh, Nipsey, rest in peace to him, rest in power to him, the whole nine because um, she's a visionary he was a visionary and we need more to highlight more of the visionaries not just the celebrities we need to highlight the visionaries and the people that are making moves and are doing things from an economic perspective in the community and people who give back into the community but all those things matter more than people from from uh you can't do anything with politics if, you, if there's no money moves being done and so ce celebrities are celebrities so the ones that majority of them are just self-interest and you know that's fine and when it boils down to intelligence you don't want to look at at the celebrities you want to look at um you know your people that are um, in academia your people that are in the business community before you look towards the celebrities unless the celebrities actually are like a nipsey hustle actually or like a um damon dash to the point where they actually are owning businesses and hiring people and you know giving back from an economic perspective and giving handouts not hand ups all right so i'm off my soapbox on that one so let's get to talking about this great young lady because um you know we're living living in the era for the last 30 years of small to major startup companies family just from a small to a big idea can not only make people very very wealthy but certain successful ideas have transformed the entire world and how we function heck the pandemic certainly taught us that with more and more people utilizing social media platforms more than ever, well, according to this article that I came across the other day, startup founder Pandwee Gibson knew delving into the 300 billion industry of smart manufacturing wouldn't be easy. And I, can, I couldn't agree with that statement more. But Pandwee Gibson acquired 16 business clients in the first six months of starting her company eco tech visions and bringing in about twenty five thousand dollars in revenue each month heck that's nothing to sneeze at that's a beautiful thing now before i go forward for those that do not know pandwee gibson is the founder of eco tech visions incubator and smart manufacturing facility since 2015 her vision is to grow her organization to the point that she can put 102 facilities in smart cities by 2025 <clears throat> and in today's world, you're going to have more and more um, smart cities and whatnot. I mean, heck, you got the majority of the newer buildings from a commercial perspective that are being built are considered smart buildings. So newer homes, smart homes. So, you know, we're, we're in that quote unquote smart um, generation when it comes to facilities, not just technology, but facilities and, and homes. So it's a beautiful thing. The basics of what her organization does is helping businesses that are not so eco-friendly become more eco-friendly. For example, the article said that think of us like um, we basically think of us like a Kinko's, but eco-friendly. Panwee Gibson stated that oftentimes entrepreneurs will have developed a cool organic hair care product or drink, then put their item in plastic packaging. You know what plastic is made of? She's asked oil. And depending on the company situation, especially nowadays, families, when companies become more eco-friendly, it doesn't just help the environment, AKA planet Earth, but it helps companies save money all at the same time, family. And this aspect of the article, I really enjoyed family. The article stated that she also started a nonprofit in 2015, dubbed Ecotech Visions Foundation to train workers and help aspiring entrepreneurs create green businesses. We believe, quote, we believe that manufacturing is the way to grow the middle class of America, um, Gibson said in a promo video. Aspiring entrepreneurs might not be able to afford expensive equipment to get their companies up and running. And that is very, very true. And uh, even before I go on, I, I believe it was a year ago I heard the new idea of um, shared office spaces and whatnot. Um, and if you don't know what the shared office spaces are, it's um, basically where a per, um, uh, individual or individuals um, or a company owns a specific facility, but 
people can pay to utilize that facility, kind of like an internet cafe, but they can utilize specific facilities, not only for podcasting, but they can utilize it for um, business meetings. They can utilize it to just to work out of and whatnot, because even though a lot of people work from home, some people actually like the idea of still going to an office, but maybe not going to their specific office so that they can work on the job and have a, a peace and quiet and things of that nature and kind of break the routine of being home. That's not only the future, that's the now, okay? And the article said that that's the whole point of our, our nonprofit, that we can purchase the equipment and subsidize the cost uh, to the companies at a much lower price than market rate so that they can actually bring products to market and they can be priced competitive. When it boils down to Pant B. Gibson's background, the article stated that she earned a, an MBA from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and a PhD from Claremont Graduate University, scaled more than 20 successful companies before creating her own. And I, before I even go forward on that, I love that because you have a lot of people and there's nothing wrong with getting a master's degree. But the, the saying goes, Dr. Claude Anderson says, you got a lot of people that have a lot of master's degrees yet and still they've mastered nothing. But this young lady has mastered a multitude of things. And this is the kind of talent we need to keep seeing. And not just from a um, uh, quote unquote management perspective or promotion perspective, but from a business ownership perspective, because that's what matters the most. Okay. Um, but I digress. One thing to remember, family, that uh, Pandwe Gibson actually hails from New Orleans, Louisiana, as they call it the boot. And unfortunately, she witnessed Hurricane Katrina, which wiped out homes, the economy, and killed so many people, unfortunately. It was horrific, and I, I remember that when it happened to this day. Can't believe it was so long ago, but still. People that survive traumatic situations like that and still prosper are the best fighters and have so much tenacity to make things happen, family. This article ended on this great note stating that Pandy Gibson worked very, very hard and saved two hundred and fifty thousand dollars of her own money to launch Ecotech Visions, and she had her own eyes set on a one point five million dollar building to launch her marketplace. Gibson said she put down one hundred fifty thousand and through what would become trying trying process eventually landed in the building she said she later opened another facility in miami gardens that together with the original facility gave her fifty-two thousand square feet of space to help other entrepreneurs and the larger community and i love this because this is the new norm of not just other companies growing but doing amazing things uh, so that those companies can create spaces for other entrepreneurs to shine like rock stars this is what it's all about this is what matters okay that's why I love to highlight these articles because this usually when you turn on, I don't care if it's Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or your local news, you're not going to see stuff like this being highlighted from a one, a positive perspective and two, from a, a prosperous economic perspective because this is what matters. OK, as I like to say, I said this a thousand times and I'll say it again. You can vote for whoever you want to vote for in a political election. But when you vote with your dollars every single day, that's what matters because that's what the real power is all at the same time, family. All right. On that note. Do the great three free things, like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys have a great day. If you're a crypto investor like myself and want to join the Gold Standard Partners, have an opportunity to have another crypto card and, or, or crypto card period, or have an opportunity to do the referral marketing thing, not only just buy cryptocurrency, sign up, all the information's in the description. Don't forget to check out my online store where there's anything Gold sells a variety of products, so please don't forget that. And as always, family, you can't get fired if you own the company. Obviously, Pandy Gibson owns something, and it's time for everybody else to get out there and try to own something, all right? As I always say, make money moves, or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care, family.